So Grandma Core is an aesthetic on TikTok, especially with mm-hmm. you know what you knitting, yeah, sewing, cooking, baking, mm-hmm. that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, lots of like flowers and doilies and stuff like that. And I wonder if McDonald's is going to try to capitalize on that with their new shake, the Grandma McFlurry. Yeah, you- I heard about that, and I, I genuinely, I kid you not, I almost went and got one as soon as I read it. Because I was like, that sounds amazing. (laughs) So you remember their Grimace shake last summer, right? I do. I didn't have one. Did you have one? I did. Yeah, mostly because I saw like a bunch of TikToks Uh, about it where they always ended in like a bunch of purple goo everywhere and people like lying in puddles (laughs) and dead and stuff. Okay. Um, Which, first off, it tastes like blueberry pie. It was super nice and pleasant. It was rich, but it wasn't like terribly rich, you know? And I don't know. I didn't really get the TikToks very much. Like they made it seem like it was so terrible, but it was like quite delightful in my opinion. Those those generation alphas and their Dadaism and their surreal (laughs) humor. Yeah. Kids these days. Anyway, the the Grandma (laughs) McFlurry is a sweet new treat that mixes syrup, vanilla ice cream, and crunchy candy pieces. I've heard that it's Werther's. Which is, yeah, McDonald's jokes is like grandma's favorite treat that she hid in her purse. I love that. What's that got to be? <laughs> it has to be Werther's. It's got to be. Especially as Werther's rule. Werther's are the best hard candy. Uh, Ooh, outside of maybe root beer barrels. I do love a root beer barrel. Remember those Lifesavers um, cream ones? <gasps> the cream savers? Yeah, those were I good. literally have one in my purse right now. I but kid I'm, you not. I'm try- Of course you do, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> my dad used to carry those around in his pocket all the time and he'd especially make sure to load up before church ah. so that he could keep me and Tyson quiet yeah. <laughs> during the service. He would just like, you know, every maybe 15 minutes, just pull another one out and pass it Shut down. Shut your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Have a cream saver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We couldn't make noise if we were sucking on candy. Right. Yeah. It was perfect. Brilliant. But yeah. Now every time I have a cream saver, it reminds me of church. So <laughs> I get really sleepy all of a sudden. How did he unwrap <laughs> them? Was he in ninja mode? Oh, because- that's the beauty of it. You can just pop it from the bottom and they're actually pretty quiet. Oh. You just sort of grab the bottom and squeeze. It, it'll come up the, the top that would and be, it's pretty quiet. That'd be a great survey. If you can tell us in the comments what's, your, what's the go-to, what's the best church candy? Ooh. Actually, yeah. I would love to know what, what IFAF listeners think is the best church candy. The one that doesn't make too much noise. Uh-huh. The one that's not so obvious that you're chowing down. Right, right. I yeah. mean, I guess gum... But Gum isn't bad, but then people can see you count. chewing it. Right. And sometimes, have you ever had that accidental bubble you get? Right. You're trying to chew gum on the down low, uh-huh. and then it snaps on you and gives away your position. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. the monsters come out from under your bed. <laughs> now, I love gum. And the preacher I, looks at you. <laughs> yeah, right. They're like, you shouldn't be doing that in church. <laughs> well, and not only that, too, but you also have to have a candy that goes well with any sacrament. You know, especially depending on what church you're in. What pairs with wine and crackers? <laughs> yeah, right. I I would Maybe say little bits of cheese. You know what? I do think that cream savers would be okay because mm-hmm. they're fruity and creamy. Mm. So you know, it's like a little charcuterie once you have that wine and cracker. <laughs> and you know, I love a charcuterie. Church cooterie. <laughs> church cooterie. There we go. Or is that something else? <laughs> <laughs> now I was raised LDS, so we did water and um. Okay. We did water and bread. Water and wafers? No, no wafers, just bread. Oh. Yeah, they would like... Leavened get, bread? No, normal, like, bought it from the grocery store bread. Yeah. Oh, leavened. Oh, the yeah, The whole yeah. point of... Sorry, you're Could right. Be, I Thank thought. You. I was thinking unleavened, but you're right. It was leavened bread. Maybe I'm in a different Judeo-Christian world. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't really... I don't really get how they justified it either. Yeah, but right. they would do a blessing over it to make it... The right bread. I mean, so he did say, fine. this is my bread and this is take and eat of it and stuff. This is my body. This is my body. This, yeah. this bread is my body. The body's the bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get this bread. <laughs> yeah. But it was, it was always a treat when they had like potato bread instead of the regular white bread. You know, uh, I love potato you love bread. potato bread. It's just good. So anyway, <laughs> this new Grandma McFlurry, rumor mm-hmm. has it, is butterscotch flavored. That sounds so good. Like a Werther's original. Gotta try it. Yeah. Well, and I mean, after that butterbeer in Universal, like, honestly, I've been kind of on a butterscotch kick. You know, now they have butterscotch dilly bars and you know I love a dilly bar. Mm. Ooh, I would fight someone for a dilly bar. Butterscotch dilly bars for a minute. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, they used to and then they discontinued discontinued them for a minute and then brought them back. Yeah, we might have to cut this if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. They're scrump dillyicious. That's yes. all I know. I love dillies. They're so good. <laughs> we were just bitching about the price of McDonald's 
last episode, mm-hmm. and I've seen the graph. I believe McDonald's is the worst offender in the last 10 years when it comes to hiking up their prices. Really? And they Even used more- to be known for value. Yeah. Even more than Arctic Circle, though? I I don't know if they... Arctic to, Circle is in a national yeah. or global well, to be fair, chain, Arctic Circle's think. always been a little bit expensive. Okay. You know, because they do seafood and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I went there the other day and I spent like 30 bucks on a meal for two. Man. I did get like two sides. Ooh, including their mushrooms and white sauce. So good. And they stiffed <laughs> you on the white sauce, though. Yes. What, I know. What is hurts. even in the white sauce? I want to know. I want to know. You know what? We'll have to go get some... But this is corporate America, right? You push right. it and push and push the price until consumers say, you know, give you the bird mm-hmm. is what I'm doing underneath the camera yeah, right now. Right. The double bird. <laughs>